This is the Galapagos tomato, which may not look like that much. It may just look like a little yellow grape tomato, but this is actually very, very interesting. This is a different species of tomato that evolved on Galapagos Island in isolation, you know, with the tortoises and all that, everything that Charles Darwin was talking about, it evolved separately from all the other tomato varieties. The plants have different features that are not on normal tomato plants. These are definitely a different species. So I'm not sure if it's going to taste any different, but it definitely has a different kind of appearance to it. They're like a little oblong looking, and uh, of course they have that nice golden color to it. So. Uh, very interesting to get a chance to try this. And I was given this opportunity by Matt. Matt, thank you so much. I believe Matt sells seeds on his website, mattspeppers.com. So uh, check that out for some more information. Uh, before I take a bite of this, uh, a few more things. Number one, Galapagos tortoises. It's one of their favorite fruits. Also, you can cross these with regular tomatoes to create a hybrid tomato. And people do. It's actually popular to do that uh, because these have certain disease resistant qualities that regular tomatoes don't. So when you combine them together, those tomatoes that come out are uh, resistant to disease, or they can be. So uh, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to give this a try. I was expecting this to taste just like regular tomatoes. It doesn't. It also has a different texture to it. The skin on the outside is very tough. It's thin, and the flesh on the inside is very soft, but that skin doesn't like break down when you chew it. Here's the skin. You can see how tough this is. It's like a little tough piece of plastic. I can't even, like ripping it is hard. Yeah, it's like oddly very tough for a tomato. Not a big fan of that skin. But that flavor of the fruit, that is, that is something. That is something else. They're sweeter than regular tomatoes. Regular tomato is what? Maybe like a, a 2 out of 10 on sweetness? This is maybe more like a, a 4 out of 10? They're a little bit tart, but not that much. Maybe a 1 out of 10? And they do have a tomato taste. I mean, it's mostly tomato, but there's something else in it. And I want to say it's more fruity. It's got a fruit flavor to it that does not exist in tomatoes so much. You know, sometimes uh, weird species, they are weird for a reason. You know, they have a lot of like gaminess to them or something. Like this tastes like something that you would get from a store. It tastes like it has been cultivated to be eaten. You know, it's not too crazy. There's no weird bonus flavor to it. It's got a nice clean taste, but it's also hard to describe. It is like tomato, but it is the fruit side of tomato. You know, tomatoes are a fruit and they have a fruitiness to them, but that is kind of like overshadowed by the savory taste and why people use it as a vegetable instead of a fruit. It does still have a savory taste, but that little nugget of fruitiness that a tomato would normally have is dialed up. It's, you get that sometimes with uh, different heirloom tomatoes, like the Cherokee Purple that I had, uh, had also a very fruity taste to it. Uh, this one is also in that direction. I think maybe uh, trying to pinpoint a different fruit that this tastes like isn't really the right Thing I should be doing, it should be more just focusing on that quality being different. That quality of fruit is much higher in this than a regular tomato. The savoriness is about the same, so it's a little deceptive. It's got a strong savory taste, but it also has a strong fruity taste. It probably would be best off being used in, uh, in savory applications that also have a sweet element to them. Like if you were to put this in a salad, it'd be really good. You can put this in a fruit salad too, it'd be really good. I think you can utilize that sweetness and that uh, savoriness and have it have it work for certain things. It'd be really good in salsa. 
it would taste more like a mango salsa without the mango in it. Not exactly, but it would have like a similar kind of like uh, taste buzz getting triggered. So that's kind of interesting. That's, a, that's definitely an interesting uh, tomato to have. I haven't had anything quite like that, even with the heirloom tomatoes that I've had in the past. And uh, thanks again to Matt for sending this to me. Again, it's mattspeppers.com if you want to check this out yourself over there. And I will see you next time. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.